Digital Earth Africa's Sandbox provides an environment for interacting with and analyzing Digital Earth Africa's Earth observation data. The Sandbox is a data analysis ecosystem that consists of an Amazon Web Service instance of cloud computing that provides multiple cores and 16 gigabytes of RAM, a Jupyter Lab platform for conducting analysis. Jupyter Lab is a web-based interactive development environment for Jupyter Notebooks, code, and data. Direct access to the open data cube containing all of Digital Earth Africa's Earth observation data and a large number of example Jupyter Notebooks demonstrating how to use the open data cube to conduct Earth observation analysis. Logging onto the Sandbox is as simple as navigating to the Sandbox URL and signing up with a username, email and password. Instructions for signing up and a link to the Sandbox URL are located on Digital Earth Africa's GitHub repository under the Wiki banner. We will follow this link now and get set up. Click the sign up button and enter your name, email and password. Once you've signed up, you can log in. After logging in, you'll be prompted to select an environment, which for most users will simply be the default environment. The sandbox environment will now spawn. This process can sometimes take a few minutes. This is the sandbox environment. Each user has their own allocated disk space and computing environment that will persist between sessions. So work saved in one session will be there next time you log in. On the left is an inbuilt file browser. This file browser is automatically pre-populated with example notebooks to help you get started and make the most of the platform. The list of example notebooks is growing all the time and any user of Digital Earth Africa can contribute back to this repository. The beginner's guide folder contains a set of notebooks to help a new user understand some of the key aspects of working with the open data cube. The data sets folder contains notebooks outlining key data sets available in the open data cube. The decal folder contains notebooks and scripts that have been transferred over from the African Regional Data Cube environment and are fully functioning on the Digital Earth Africa infrastructure. The frequently used code folder contains notebooks demonstrating how to conduct key remote sensing coding tasks. For example, how to export a GeoTIFF or how to create an animation from a time series of satellite data. The real world examples folder contains longer, more complicated notebooks that demonstrate how to use Digital Earth Africa data sets to address real world problems, such as detecting vegetation change to highlight regions of deforestation, or mapping the land sea boundary to track coastal erosion.